Good morning guys and happy Sunday. Today I have a very, very exciting day ahead of me. I'm actually going to the TV BAFTAs with Saint-Tropez. Saint-Tropez have invited me along as one of their guests so I have tanned up, I've done my nails, done my toes and I'm ready to go off to London and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So I stopped off at um, Oxford Circus to pick up a bracelet from Topshop that I actually saw the other day, but I didn't buy it because I thought my mum had one really similar, it turns out she's lost it. So I'm going to go and find that and maybe some shoes as well because the only other shoes I have are my Prada ones and they're super uncomfortable. So it's back on the tube and on to the hotel. Shoe and bracelet mission accomplished. So here's my hotel guys, I'm just about to go check in and let the beautifying come out. We just got to my hotel room, here it is. I'm staying at the Corinthia, which is actually where um, most of the kind of BAFTA stuff is based. Here's my bathroom, here's me in the mirror, hello! Still got no hair and makeup, I'm about to go down in 15 minutes to get my hair and makeup done. I just wanted to show you guys my shoes. These are what I stopped for in Topshop that made me a little bit late because I got to the register or the till, sorry, I was being very American there. And the lady was like, uh, oh, we can't actually sell these to you for 10 minutes because it's Sunday trading hours. I was like, oh no. Um, but these are the ones I got. I wanted to go for kind of black and gold theme. Um, I am still like not 100% sure because I don't have my dress whether or not I'm gonna wear these or my Prada ones, which I also brought with me. But these are like absolute foot killers. And I'm gonna be wearing them from 4 p.m. or 4.30 p.m. to late at night, I think. So um, I'm gonna see how these go, try them on with my outfit. I also picked up this cuff, which was from um, a brand called Made, handcrafted in Africa, because um, I wanna go for like a black and gold theme, and then I have my Chanel bag. So that is a sneak peek at what I'm gonna be wearing. And here's all the other mess I've created on my bed, and my other shoes, and my bag. And the room is playing weird, kind of like background music at me. So I'm gonna go and get my hair done and my makeup done and I will see you guys there. So I'm here with Jared, if you can see Hello. him, yes. who is gonna be doing my hair and we're gonna be showing you a little bit of what he's doing. So I've just got out of having my hair done and I have about 20 minutes before I have my makeup appointment so I'm going to eat some lunch. Here's my lunch, super salad with prawns, yeah. I am ready to go, so I thought I would do a very quick kind of outfit of the day. This is weird filming in this really skinny mirror. Um, but yeah, my hair, I've actually pushed it to the side and it's dropped out a lot, which I really love. I love it, I think it looks so cool. Um, and my makeup looks like this. I actually did make a couple of alterations. I always find it a little like, like that whenever I get my makeup done by somebody who hasn't done my makeup before. Um, I just like, got rid of a tiny bit of the brown underneath my eyes because I thought it made me look a bit tired but I love it I really love the look it's very like classic glamour she used um, a lot of matte brown eyeshadows on the lids so I think she used teddy eyebrow pencil all over and then she used wedge and a couple of other neutral browns and she used a little bit of face and body foundation and she used pro long wear concealer um, and then a lip colour which I actually changed as well because I just ate a little something um, and it messed it up so I topped it up with my YSL um, red lipstick, the Pure Couture Matte, the red one, I think it's 203 with a little bit of glossy stain on top as well in number 14 which is a pinker one um, because I didn't actually have the colour that she used to top it up throughout the night so that is my face and then for my outfit I have on, this is my dress, it's very plain but I really love it, um, it's just a black pleated maxi dress and then I have on my maid cuff which I got from Topshop today and my Chanel bag and then finally I have on some vintage, you've probably seen them better like this, vintage Karl Lagerfeld earrings which are actually my mum's. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that, let's do it this way, but they were actually my mum's and 
yeah, I think, actually I think they were my sisters and my sister was going to throw them out. They were in like a big pile of stuff and I was like, well, <laughs> not throwing those out, I'm going to take them. So yeah, I'm ready to go to the BAFTAs. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't actually know um, any of the other people I'm going with, but I'm really excited. It's like my first kind of red carpet experience. And yeah, come along with me. Murder. Room at the top. Under 2012 Paralympic Games. Made in Chelsea. Game of Thrones. I've just got back into my hotel room. I'm actually in the bathroom right now because um, it's brighter in here. It's actually one of those like weird hotels where they come in and turn down the bed, which kind of creeps me out knowing that there's somebody that has like been in your room when you kind of weren't expecting it, if you know what I mean. So they've put like the robe out, which is really nice, but they've also like lined up all my makeup. Look at this, I was like, oh, okay. That's nice of you, it's super organized. They've done it in like brand as well, like. Well, interesting. Anyway, I had the best night at the BAFTAs. It was so cool to be invited to something like that. And um, just, yeah, it was a really awesome experience. The ceremony was amazing. It was presented by Graham Norton, who I really like, and it was just really fun to kind of be there and be part of it. And then we had an amazing dinner, and then there was an after party too, which was really fun. So yeah, a huge thank you to Santa Pay for inviting me. It was really, really kind of them. I had a great time. Um, and a big thank you as well to the guys at Mark Hill who did my hair, the guys at Mac, all the girls at Mac who did my makeup, um, and House of Fraser for lending me the dress, because it was honestly like the most kind of pampering day that I've had ever. It was so much fun and um, yeah, I'm going to leave you all now and go to bed, take this makeup off and I will see you very soon. Bye!